Let's rock this joint! Hey yo, what's going on Murph Nation? It's it's Murph, and Happy New Year's to you guys. I hope you guys had a good one. I hope you also had a great Christmas as well. Got what you wanted, and yeah, I definitely got what I wanted. So, all right, I got a quick update for you guys. Basically, what has been what has happened in the early early weeks of 2014, and uh, so far so good. 2014 is really becoming promising for myself because 2013. It was probably one that was probably the most the most up and down year I have ever had. I mean, losing a friend in the mix and all, you know, dealing with drama and all this BS and fucking nonsense and all that crap. So yeah, but so whatever happens, it's I could care less anymore. So all right, you guys are probably wondering why I'm recording why I'm recording out of nowhere in my competitive game room. Well, I have not recorded a video since my Christmas uploads. So you guys are probably what you guys are probably look. You guys probably saw like there was a little mix-up with the with the parts, like part two's in front and part one. Well, I had to re-upload part one because uh, YouTube blocked part one because of my intro music to the beginning of beginning part of the video. So I had to cut the, a few seconds off that video, a few seconds off that music, and now it's up. And my brand new music intro is up and running. So hope you guys check those out. And I also also. To begin 2014, I've been doing videos for all my, I've been doing th this YouTube stuff for four years, and I want to thank you all for watching my content and my videos, especially with me recording with a shitty ass fucking camera back when I used to use it when I uh, upload it. So I thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I also want to thank, I also want to thank all the people who has watched my most popular video ever, the only popular video ever. On my YouTube channel, and I'll show you guys the video. Some of you guys that have been watching my content since day one know what I'm talking about, and my fucking phone's being stupid as always. Uh, that's Christmas 2012. Come on, where is it? Here it is. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah. Gears of War 3 Aaron Griffin quote montage 3 3500 views. I want to thank I want to thank I want to give a shout out and thank you to all those people who has watched that video, commented on that video, gave me basically good good ideas for Aaron Griffin because uh, Gears of War 3 really got me. Gears of War 3 is the reason why reason that got me before Rocker Joe. Gears of War 3 was the main shit on my YouTube channel for a long time because of that video. So I'm gonna thank every single last one of you guys who commented and watched that video. That's where all my video, my all my views and my popularity came from was that video so I thank you guys so much from that even though it was recorded in shitty ass quality uh, if it was me I would do it all over again with this brand new camera I'm using right now but I don't use direct capture it's too much it's too much money it's too much too much it's it's too much so I can care less about direct capture using using camera is the way to go for me so again thank you guys so much for watching that video and watching my content still more in the future and I hope you guys enjoyed enjoy all my videos even though it is shitty quality stuff but I hope you guys enjoy all this all this content I put out so I really do enjoy putting this out for myself and for some and for some and look at that Bruce Lee bitches so yeah I thank you guys so much for that and 2014 looks very promising for myself alright let's get into the nitty gritty of what's brand new in this in competitive game room and a lot of surprises I'll be showing you guys alright let's get started First off, we got two new uh, features in the in the room. We got my Galaxy, my Samsung Galaxy Tab 3, which I got for Christmas. It's freaking awesome. I like it. I use it mostly for my like Xbox Street, Xbox Smart Glass, my companion apps for my games. Most of that, most of the nitty gritty stuff for for that usually is used for tablets. Right here, we got my Acer laptop that has been basically stored away for almost a year and a half. But my brand new uh, power battery adapter, it's been running perfectly fine. But it's still running on Windows Vista, which is the most garbage fucking Windows app, Windows Explorer ever. So, but whatever, it's it's good. I like it. Right here, we got a brand new addition. Oh yeah, let me get this surprise out of the way, so I won't have to spoil it. 
right here we got my level up controller slash gaming stand where you can see my Xbox 360 controller specifically for Gears of War 3 because it feels comfortable in my in my hands and I don't have to worry about breaking my Power A tournament controller which I use for every other casual game I play and right here we got my games 360 games and my power and my uh, lens cleaner for my 360 my DVD player yeah blah 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 I asked my dad, I'm talking to my mom. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's my Turtle Beach headset, PX22 headset, that's so hanging right on the tower itself, and it's it's freaking cool, I like it. So yeah, that's one surprise. Okay, now let's open this. Shit. Fucking thing. Open that up. Open this up. Okay. I got the shells all fixed out right here. Okay. I don't want you guys to see it, so I'll block you guys out. And I'll back up a little bit. Shit, I'm sitting on the fucking... Okay. Three, two, one. You see that? That's right, guys. That's the Kinect 2.0 and the Xbox One. I officially own the Xbox One. I have had the Xbox One for almost a couple weeks. I didn't want, I, I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did do an unboxing video for the thing. I was gonna upload it and also did an unboxing video for that. But look how the sun is right now, you can see it. I mean, it puts a humongous glare on the camera and it's a pain in the ass to focus in. It auto focuses, but it's a pain in the fucking ass, so it's like, it's like, fucking forget it. I mean, I was going to upload it, but it was just, too, it, it was too much of a hassle, especially with the glare. I mean, I did all the interface setups, but you know what? I'll do that, I'll do that later. So, when it gets, to, since it's light out, it's light out right now, when I get back from work tonight, Okay, I'm gonna upload. I'm gonna actually show you guys the interface at night because it's a lot better for me to record at night. And then I'll basically go through go through the interface for you, with you guys. So all right. So the game I only have for it is Dead Rising 3, the biggest, probably the only selling game for Xbox One right now. Rise Son of Rome. It's for, it's a good game, great graphics, but it's repetitive as shit and it's boring as fuck. So and also another game that's also been a huge, huge thing for Xbox One is Killer Instinct. People from FGC, which is the fighting game community, which I'm part of, mostly got the Xbox One for Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct has been out of development for 15 years until out of nowhere, it's it was uh, announced at E3 and people were so fucking hyped up for it and I was hyped up for it as well when I heard about it and I, I'm loving the shit out of it. I, I'm loving the shit out of it. Even though the multiplayer is pretty lame as of this point because of everybody's getting the game and you get rage quarters all the fucking time and they rank up for no apparent reason it's stupid so I, I, when I uh, when I played online I had somebody that was a level 9 counter puncher he rage quit he rage quit right when I was about to hit him with an ultra he just rage quit so it's fucking pathetic that all these little baby ass kids are getting this are getting the fucking killer instinct and they're went and they're getting ranked up because of this rage quitting nonsense so it's kind of BS but it's whatever you're going to get rage quitters all, all the time <coughs> Call of Duty players <coughs> so yeah all right so um so yeah that's basically what I'm going to show you I mean, this is a controller huge huge difference from the Xbox 360, Xbox 360 controllers the d-pads are fucking nice as shit I mean I I'm a deep I'm a d-pad fucking warrior okay I've been using the d-pad since like fucking Street Fighter 2 since uh Street Fighter 4 yeah no 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 more since uh more comment since uh more combat one I have actually since uh I have the arcade version on my 360 I mean I did like the arcade sticks for that for more combat one but Eh, it was they were all right. I mean, I do like I do like our our K six, but I'm used to the D pad. I mean, I played all the Mortal Kombat. I'm a, I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fighter. So, Mortal Kombat's my main my uh, my main game. Well, Ultimate MK three is my main game. So, all right, guys. Well, I got I gotta get ready for work. I'll split this I'll split this video in a in, um in a part. So when I come back.
we'll, uh, oh, excuse me. We'll do a walkthrough of me showing you guys the interface of the Xbox One, which probably you guys already know, but I'll show you guys my interface and how I basically roll with it, what's, what basically I have in it, and basically show you guys the nitty gritty of it. Alright guys, hope you guys have a good, hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys tonight for the walkthrough of the Xbox One. Alright, peace. Fucking rock this walkthrough.